Hi, in this series of videos um, I'm going to be showing the modifications which um, I'm making to the hobby to the hobby engine um, excavator. I've actually got two of these. One one is the is the very basic model here, um, which um, comes with 27 megahertz and is um, controlled with this with this transmitter here. And the other, which actually started life as the 2.4 gigahertz controlled with this transmitter here, I'm actually in the process of converting over to be controlled by my Spectrum DX10T. This is the other one which I've started working on. And as you'll see, I've already started to um, change the way which it is driven. When they when they come they come with a series of motors actually inside the inside the model and I wasn't particularly happy with the way that it moved or the amount of travel that you get. So so far the modifications which I've done to this here, I've taken out most of the electronics, I've put in a saber tooth tank or robot type speed controller. For the for the tracks, I've put in a fairly basic hobby wing speed controller for the um, turning motion, and I put the first of my Fagelli linear um, <coughs> servos. So far, I've been quite pleased with this, and I've got another three on order, which I'm hoping are going to come tomorrow. So just to show you the basic comparison, if I first of all take the very basic 27 megahertz version, I'll just take this other one down, I'll just give you some idea of how the thing moves. It's not bad, but it's, not, but it's really not what I was after, and what I wanted was something that is in between these cheap, quite realistic in my view, toy models, and the several thousand pounds for the full hydraulics. So for the um, left and right, single speed, but actually that's not too bad. For the for the um, for the arm uh, um, articulation, that is as far as it goes, and then back again it um, does it all in one motion. With the with the um, two point four gigahertz version, you you can independently control the bucket, which is a which is a little bit better. And then for the arm up and down, again, not bad, but actually quite limited in the treble, and it certainly won't go um, lower lower than um, hitting the ground there. The real big letdown with these, in my view, is the um, control of the tracks. Um, with the um, with the M twenty seven megahertz, you've got absolutely no control of the speed, and so it's kind of full speed everywhere. I'll just give you some idea. Which is not terribly easy if you're wanting to do something like drive it up on the back of a trailer, which is um, clearly something that that I would want to be doing. So. Just turning to the to the um, other one for a moment. Here we have the 2.4 premium version of the model, and um, it um, kind of comes like this. I haven't made the thing dirty, and it's sort of got sand stuck all over it. However, I'm I'm quite happy with the way that looks. And um, <clears throat> one of the first things that I've managed to discover is a driver that goes in. I think that looks quite good, and. This is this is one of the Bruder drivers. Then they are not too expensive, but they seem to be very high quality, and they and their joints move in a lot of different ways. <coughs> so um, I've um, I've um, taken all of the motors out of the arm, and the only one which is actually working is 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 that um, one that you can see on the top. So I'll just give you some idea how this moves.
and the and the total amount of movement is 100 millimeters. These 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 come in a number of gear ratios, and the higher the gear ratio, obviously the slower it moves, but the more powerful it is. This one here is the fastest of them, and the model is an L12. Um, 100 millimeters is is the um, travel, and the and the um, gear ratio, which is the fastest of the gear ratios is um, 50 to 1. So not amazingly powerful but you get a reasonable speed. For the, for the other arms um, I'm actually getting the um, linear servos which are twice as slow as this but they've got 50 millimeter movement so you get about five pounds pressure out of each of them but they will move their whole length in about the same time as this one does because because they're servos on the um, sticks you'll see that when I when I pull the stick back a little I have to hold it in place because if I let go it will it will just return to the place that it, that it that it first thought of and um, in order, in, in order to be able to use these sticks for both controlling the tracks and for moving the arms, what I've done is I've started to program in some basic mixes. And one of the good things about the DX10 is that you can actually name the different function modes. And at the moment I've put two on there. And hopefully you can see the writing and... I plug this onto my F switch so that when my F is in the lower mode it is in digging and when I flip it up it is in what I've called tracking and in order that I can still control the arm what I've done is I put in a mix so that I can actually decide where that arm goes by using one of the pots so I can still move the arm and it will stay wherever I put it, for instance, if I wanted to put it back up on the loader. Just to show you how the thing works in tracking mode, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. So, if I want to turn on the spot, I can do that and I can actually move it very, very slowly which is pretty good or we'll just back it up very very slowly I'm quite pleased with the way that this has worked out able to use the standard motoring gearbox it seems to go just fine and I can slowly move it on forward or I can slowly move on backwards also with the speed controller on the, on the main turn I can move it very very slowly if I want to or, and I can vary this or I can or I can have it moving much faster you can if you want to do both things at the same time if you've got good coordination try not to have it drive you off the table I'll be posting some more videos when I've done some more stuff. I hope that this has been interesting for people to see. Thank you.